Listen, y'all. Listen. Getting a little tired now. A little sleepy. Not tired of y'all. I'm physically tired. But here we are again watching Panic at the Disco. This is gospel. I think I've heard this song before. Um, I had a student one time that sang this. And um, they did a good job. So I'm excited to hear you know this. I don't think I've heard this version. I don't think I've heard this, this video. Um, Megan, this is for you. All right. Uh, here we go. Let's go. Beautiful piano. Love it. This is gospel for the fallen ones locked away in permanent slumber, assembling their philosophies from pieces of broken memory. Now, granted, I'm sure that this has been edited and, you know, pitch, I don't want to say pitch corrected, but uh, every vocal, every recorded vocal that you hear has a little tiny bit of pitch correction on it. It's just appealing to the human ear at this point, but... Uh, this is gospel for the fallen one. Uh, so I'm somewhere there in the key of D, um, but uh, it's pretty low, pretty low. Uh, and it doesn't really sound like he's like. Maybe let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going before before I before I make that comment. Let's keep going. Oh. Yeah, yeah I, I would almost venture to say that this guy's a baritone too because he that that low range is really rich. Um, I think um, doesn't sound like he's really reaching for those notes. Doesn't sound like he's like grabbing for them. Um, just sounds like he's just the gnashing teeth and na na na. But. Um, I would probably have to like hear him in person to be able to tell and like do a lesson with him. Not, not 100% sure though. I haven't seen the best of us yet. If you love me, let me go. If you love me, let me go. Because these words are nice enough to leave scars. That's good. That's good. Um, he is belting an A4. I, again, I can't. I can't tell through this version if it's a belt or a mix. I know it's something, and I know it's something that it sounds like he can do repeatedly. It doesn't sound like he's really stretching or reaching for it. Again, I know that these videos are mixed, and I know that you know the vocal is mastered and all that. Um, but. Uh, Really good, really, really, really good, really impressive vocal, actually, and um, nice. It's nice. Falling apart. Beautiful piano playing. This is good. This is gospel for the vagabonds, Nedruels, and insufferable bastards confessing. So he's definitely singing with a little bit of that, um, <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but the, I call it that teen angst kind of sound. This is gospel for the fallen one. Like that, that I can't do it as well as he can, but uh, I hear a lot of, um, I hear a lot of guys, like younger guys, uh, I don't say younger guys, but I hear a lot of pop males sing with this kind of sound not even like celebrity males but just like there's a guy i know around town that you know he has that kind of sound this is gospel for the fallen one um 
again, I can't do it like him, but you get the point. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I wonder, I don't know a lot of Panic at the Disco's music. I know a few songs, but I don't know a lot of it. I would wonder if there were, you know, songs where he wasn't singing with that kind of like teenage angst dialect. Um, whatever he's doing, it's working for him. I think it's working for him. I don't think that, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not like grating at my ears, you know. Um, it's just a thing. It's not bad or good. It's just a thing. Their apostasies led away by imperfect imposters. Oh, 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 oh. Don't try and sleep through the end of the world and bury me alive. Cause I won't give up without a fight. If you love me, let me go. It is not easy to jump from those two octaves like that. Usually in a song when we song right, we have some type of we have some type of hold on, let me get my pedal. Usually in pop music we have some type of Have a build up, it'll usually go like let me go, you know. Um, but he's just jumping right from the chest voice, those low chest notes, this up to the to that A, you know, it's impressive, it's really impressive. Um, he's good, really good. chicken nuggets what what is all this stuff falling from the sky i wonder how he held it together because those definitely look like chicken nuggets chicken wings they're chicken wings they're chicken wings falling from the sky what oh the meatballs Well, somebody was like, "Dang, y'all, we didn't run out of, we didn't run out of confetti." Hey, 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 bring them chicken wings that we had for lunch, bruh. <laughs> we got any more of them chicken wings? <laughs> I think Kathy bought meatballs for uh. <laughs> what? Oh, that was not bad. I wonder what all this means. I wonder what all this means. Um, no, good video though. That was good. That was good. Um, very artistic. I wonder, I just wonder, is there, if anybody has a video of him explaining what this means, please like send it to me. All right. Listen. If you would like more of this, subscribe to me on Patreon. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Listen, if you think this is all I got, you got another thing coming. All right? <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. Goodbye.